So, how do I do this YouTube thing again? <laughs> hey, what's up, people? It has been a cool minute. It's been over a month since I've uploaded. Uh, but uh, thank you guys for sticking with me. Uh, things are going okay in the background. Uh, you'll be getting some videos from me. But, of course, OCG got their ban list. And despite being on break or whatever, you're getting the ban list prediction, reactions, all of that from me. You don't have to worry about that. But... Uh, it's, it's been over a month since I've uploaded, thank you guys, like I said, thank you guys for sticking with me, staying sub. Uh, surprisingly, my sub count actually went up since taking a break, but, uh, hopefully I'll be coming back soon. Uh, you'll actually be getting an update video from me this upcoming Saturday, so look forward to that. And, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and hop right into it. So, OCG got another list. Uh, it's interesting that OCG gets two confirmed lists before we get, you know, our next one, you know, uh, Hopefully we'll get ours soon, you know, like I said, I will be doing a ban list prediction so you can look forward to that But I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully January we'll be getting our list and uh, we'll be seeing maybe some uh, precedents from the OCG uh, Maybe something that will influence our list, you know, because generally the OCG's list comes out and we follow suit And we do some of the things that uh, OCG uh, did or has done uh, and our list, so uh, like I said, we'll see on our list, and like I said, my ban list prediction will be coming up soon. So this is the OCG January 1st, 2017 ban list. So hopefully we'll have the 2CG January 1st, 2017 ban list. Well, not even January 1st. It's probably like mid-January, but still the point is the fact that it remains January. Maybe February, but hopefully January. You know, mid, early to mid-January, before maybe uh, possibly before DDDs come out. So let's go ahead and look at it. So... Uh, Starting off, Newly Forbidden, they banned Kirin. Kirin banned? I, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, I mean, we already knew that even with Kirin Limited, it wasn't going to really change anything. All you have to do is just throw three Bunkaboo, and then, you know, I used to have three Kirin, but now with triple Bunkaboo and Kirin, now I have four Kirin. So, I mean, you really didn't do too much. I mean, of course, if, you know, if you pin on some of that Kirin, I hit it with, like, a some, you know, that one Kirin with, like, a solemn striker or a warning or something, and it's gone, you know, but the, the fact that it remains is that the consistency is still high. So, uh, I mean, there's two possible things that you could do in this case, and, you know, OCG decide the latter. It's interesting that, you know, OCG tries these cards at one, things like Norden, and then they eventually just, you know, they're like, not, like, Norden and Monkey Board and Kieran, they're like, okay, one. Okay, no, we can't even have one. Banned, you know? So, Kieran is banned. I mean, arguably, the strongest pendulum-based monster. Uh, it can't be targeted, can't be destroyed by card effects. The only way you can kill it, but it can just bounce itself back in the hand, bounce something, something of yours, just, you know. So, it's really interesting that uh, Konami decided to uh, ban Kieran. And I'm kind of wondering if TCG will follow suit. You know, we definitely know that it's... Uh, it's, it's still kind of a problem in the TCG as well. Uh, it would be an indirect hit to uh, Metal Foes, who, of course, you know, play the Bunkaboos and the Kin. While it really wouldn't be too much of a hit to Magic Specters because Magic Specters don't really use Kin. I mean, they use it, but they kind of go have to go out of their way. They kind of have to throw, like, a centric Archfiend in there and be like, okay, now I can play Kin. Well, you know, I mean, I played Magic Specters competitively, and there's times when I didn't even run it. There, yep, so... It's not really that necessary. It, it, it adds a little bit, but not enough to be like, oh my god, you know, Magic Spectre's dead because Kieran's banned. So, all right, that, that's, a, that's a fun hit, OCG. All right, newly limited, Terror Top. Okay, all right. Uh, uh, just a little spoiler, I'm predicting that we'll probably hit Terror Top as well, but that's a fun hit. I mean, Terror Top is literally like the new tour guide, you know. Special Summon It, Search Takatom, or Special Summon Takatom, Borg, XE, Go Off, you know, whether it be, of course, in TCG here, or Dante, and PK Fire, and all that, or, as we know, Invoker with them Zodiac Beasts. We, I you know, I've been out of the loop for, you know, a little bit over a month, but it doesn't mean that I'm not keeping up with the Yu-Gi-Oh scene in the background while I'm not uploading, so I definitely know about Zodiac being a tier zero shit in TCG, I mean, in the, oh, and upcoming in TCG and OCG, and probably over in TCG as well, but that's kind of an indirect hit, but definitely Terra Top deserved to be limited. I mean, it's pretty much the same boat as, uh, as saying uh, as tour guide so yeah that's fine now i'm kind of wondering if they're gonna do you know what players are gonna move to you know because we can see the card right under that rest cat it did get an errata you know i will go over all the uh, erratas but rest cat did come off unbanned with an errata so i'm kind of wondering if it's a, an errata that will take in the tcg or will pass it by you know 
because I mean, similar to like you know Chaos Emperor, we you know it seems like TCT picks and chooses what erratas we get and which ones we don't. So uh, I said I will go over the erratas because we got a couple of erratas, I must say. But I'm kind of wondering if the OCG would just you know okay, well I only have one Terra Top, I'll put in one Terra Top, one Rescue Cat, you know, Tour Guide, uh, Galaxy Worm, you know, just cards like that just to get that instant you know one card rank three play just to go into an over. You know, because Volker's not hit. Go into Volker to then go into the plays, the up the consistency of their um, of their Zodiac plays, their Momorat plays. So, I mean, does it really change too much? It just changed a couple cards with another couple cards. So, but Rescue Cat did Renrata. Goyo Guardian. Uh, we have Goyo Guardian at three on ban, but they just limited Goyo Guardian. But the interesting thing is, it's with an Arata, so we'll get to that. Uh, they limited Deloren. We have Deloren limited, so I guess they. They're like none of that Delorean looping because Delorean does have a loop. So we have Delorean limited. They limited Delorean. And now, yes, your eyes do not mistake you. That's, that does say Baronic Dragon the Ice Bear. They unbanned Bur Brio with an Arata. So pretty much every single major card that was banned that you'll see here that's getting unbanned, it all has an Arata. Uh, we also see Totally Awesome. Totally Awesome uh, got limited down to one. So uh, I'm kind of wondering if we'll follow suit uh, with uh, with TCD eventually, you know, or, you know, they're totally awesome. Uh, Paleozoics is literally one of the top tier decks. Uh, multiple totally awesomes. It's just ridiculous. And uh, it, it's a good hit. Not only does it hit, you know, just totally awesome in general, you only got that one totally awesome in the court. Totally awesome can put itself back, but you, then you don't get that plus that you would usually get for, you know, getting to put any water monster back uh, into your hand. So it's, it's neat. You won't get that net plus from graveyard back to your hand. But totally awesome can put himself back. But uh, then it also lowers the amount of totally awesomes you have, so you can't be like Bahamut Shark, so I'm totally awesome. And then late, if it's uh, you know if it's alive, you can just be like Bahamut Shark, so I'm totally awesome again. But as I said, uh, it's probably a fine hit. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna take it a little bit farther. I can easily see OCG or TCG banning totally totally awesome because I mean even at one, just because of the fact that it could put itself back. You know, unlike Dante, where you know Dante can't put himself back. Uh, uh, can he? I don't think he can. Can Dante put himself back? I should, I should probably look at Dante, but that's not relevant. The point is that the fact is that Totally Awesome is limited to one in the LCG, and I'm wondering what we're going to do with the CCG when it comes to, you know, frogs and Paleozoic and all that Totally Awesome shit. So, uh, sounds like I was complimenting it. Like, oh, it's the Totally Awesome shit. Like, no. Totally Awesome's shit. Uh, then Fire Formation Thank you. that's another uh, indirect hit to, um, to Zodiac Beast or all Beast Warriors. So, you know, Tanky goes up, Tanky goes down, Tanky goes up, Tanky goes down, Rota goes up, Rota goes down, Rota goes up, Rota goes up. So, you know, at this point, it literally just seems like if you have a card that can search a type, it should be at one, whether it be Roto, whether it be Tanky. So, uh, I can easily see us following suit. Just Tanky will probably get them into one. I'm actually wondering, since, you know, Zodiac Beast is such a tier zero format in the OCG, and we can clearly see that, and similarly what we could do with PP, I'm wondering if we're going to do the same, you know, do another adjusted list for 2017, and just be like, okay, Tanky that one, Terra Tops at, you know, you know, whatever they put it at, and, you know, you know, uh, Momo Rats at two or one. You know, I'm kind of wondering if we're actually going to follow suit and do and do like another adjusted list to prevent another tier zero format from happening with Pepe. I mean, and it just rinse and repeat. You know, a broken X structure deck that lasts the majority of the format and uh, adjusted list. It just history repeats itself unless we you know do something different. But it doesn't, really doesn't seem like it. Anyway, moving on, we have Union Hanger Limited. That that's a big hit. That's a big hit. You know, uh, I don't expect ABC to get hit for the TCG, but I mean that that's a big hit. Uh, especially with, uh, you know, how dom dominant Zodiac Beasts are and with uh, Drancia, you pretty much, you have that one Union Hanger, you activate it, Drancia, chain, pop, it's not on the field to resolve, nothing, you know? And you only got one Union Hanger. Uh, it's a pretty big hit. It's a pretty good hit. I've been watching a lot of people's bandwidth predictions, and I think that hit's a little extreme, you know? Like I said, I mean, it's a fine hit. I'd say it's probably like the second most extreme hit because some people are like, limit uh, the ABC budget right now, I'm like, okay, you have one, you summon it, warning, done, you know, or strike, done, your, your deck's done, you know, so, uh, like I said, with one hanger, it's, you only have one hanger, you only have that one search, and if it gets popped before you activate it, then, oh well, uh, it's interesting that they maybe go after terraforming, but I guess they tied more clean specific, uh, hanger, hanger, okay, uh, no, probably one of the more casual hits that I've seen from people's banish prediction is actually hitting each of the A, B, C, A, B, and C individually down to two, which will lower the consistency of their plays. But like I said, that's uh, it. Would probably be a little bit more extreme. Like maybe, 
maybe keep Union Hangar at three, terraforming to one, and then ABC each down to two, then maybe that would be best, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll just follow suit, and we'll just hit Union Hangar down to one as well, but it probably won't be at this list. Probably won't be this list. Uh, and then we have more cards on ban. So Brain Control on ban with an errata, Future Fusion on ban with an errata, and Imperial Order on ban with an errata. We'll get I'll tell all of those. All right, and that's all the limited. So moving on to semi-limited, they have Magician of Faith at two. We got out of three, it does nothing, it's slow. They've been taking it slow, they went, all right, I'm banned to one, all right, one to two, and then probably next list for OCG, it'll be two to three. Like, no no one's really playing on Magician Faith, despite them having a lot of stronger uh, spell cards, you know? They actually have Monster Reborn and, and Harpy's Feather Duster, but Magician Faith, still too slow, doesn't get any play. Uh, Dandelion, I, I think Dandelion could go up to three, who cares? You know, no one really cares, you get some tokens. There's, there's cards that make tokens that are way better than Dandelion, like, who really cares? And as long as Level Eater is gone, you can still do your synchro plays, but you can't do your stupid synchro plays. So, yeah, you could probably have all your synchro cards back as long as level eater is gone, you know. So, yeah. So, Danny going up to two, that's fine. That's fine. I, I you know, I would predict that for TCG, but I don't know. They just seem like they don't like doing synchro shit. So, all right. And then newly unlimited. Insector Dragonfly. That's kind of crazy, because now Insectors are at full power in the OCG. And they're much more uh, liberal than us. They really are. We're way more conservative. Like, you know, we we probably could move, like, Hornet, but we don't. So we still have one Dragonfly, one Hornet. Well, they have three Dragonfly and three Hornets. So, I mean, that deck's at full power. And, uh, well, people, you know, some people are like, oh, it's power creep. I mean, I don't think so. I mean, with the pluses that you can get off of Dragonfly and shit like that, and with the rival cards you have in Yu-Gi-Oh!, I mean, Zodiac Beast, one of the things they don't like, they don't like board clearing. And what's a deck that can definitely board clear? Vectors. They'll board clear and plus on you and OTK you. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, know. I definitely think that maybe Hornet, you can give them more Hornet type of consistency, but I don't think Dragonfly can ever move from one. So, you can summon Dragonfly, they summon another Dragonfly and protect, and then XC and then detach and then revive back, and then Dragonfly summon another Dragon. You know, so it, it, it really is ridiculous. It really is. So, because uh, Dragonfly and stuff like that aren't once per turn. Uh, uh, they're once per turn, but it's not like you can only use the effect of Dragonfly once per turn. So if all I have to do is just go summon Dragonfly, equip Hornet, unequip Hornet, pop a card, summon a Dragonfly, I can only use the effect of Dragonfly. You can only, uh, you know, once per turn. So equip, unequip, pop, you know, so it, it, it's dumb. It's dumb. Like, multiple Dragonflies is dumb. So, you know, you'll get multiple summons off of it, so. Uh, and then we see uh, Chair going back up to three in the OCG. We have three chairs, three, six, three, three, Chair. Uh, it, it goes back and forth. Is it an extremely crazy plus play? Yes, it is. OCG hit it. We never did. Uh, we saw a little bit of it in uh, the Herald deck, but that deck's been kind of falling out of favor. You know, as long as, like, Strike is at three, that deck can never really do anything because you just, some, you know, you summon Herald and then I like, strike you and you just, bleh, you know, so. Uh, but, yeah, so three stick truth there. Let's see what uh, OCG does to three stick truth, three chair. Uh, Mathematician back at three is crazy. Because Mathematician's back up at three, but Armageddon Knight's still at one the OCG. It's like, eh, you know? I'm not a big fan of that, but, you know, I, I still think Mathematician, it, it, it should be always be limited. It really is. Like, uh, sending any level four or lower monster getting that plus off of him dying, uh, you know, he's pretty much similar to Foolish, you know, and the same thing with all the chain, you just got to stay banned, you know, that picking out of your deck, especially monsters, it's kind of ridiculous. So he's, I pretty much put him in the same boat as Foolish. Uh, he's just a walking Foolish burial for level four or so. Uh, Mizuki back up at three. We have three Mizuki. I know they took a little bit slower than us, but I guess now they're finally like, okay, here you go. So three mathematician and three Mizuki. Okay, <laughs> you know, like those in the same boat. You know, at least Mizuki's Earth, so Armageddon, I can't send Mizuki, but mathematician sure can. So, all right, OCG. And then El Shadal Fusion. Construct is still banned, you know. So at this point, I believe outside of Armageddon Knight, I believe, you know, El Shadal Fusion... Uh, and Sinister Shadow games, I believe, should all have everything except for Construct. Construct is still banned, and even with that, I mean, we saw a little bit of the Shadal kind of Dolan shit in the OCG, but, you know, I still don't think it's going to be too much of anything, so. And I said, as long as Construct is banned, you can pretty much give Shadals everything, and it, it still won't do too much. So, let's go ahead and look at some of those Marauders, because, like you said, there's a lot of Marauders. So, starting off with Brain Control. Pay under life points, target one face up monster your opponent controls that could be normal summoned or set. To control that target until the end phase. So, they added on the additional that the monster has to be a monster that can be normal summoner set. Uh, of course, this means you can't take things like synchro monsters or XC monsters or shit like that. Uh, and, you know, big, generally big cards are just like, you know, this card can't be normal summoner set, can only special summon by blah. So, uh, but in exchange, unlike uh, Mind Control, which, you know, um, this card... You can attack with the monster. It doesn't say that I can't do anything with the monster. So the monster, the monster could be normal summoner set. You know, like sim simply like uh, we'll go with like 
you know, Force Raider, for example. I can take that, and not only can I see with it, see with it, do all those things with it, but I can also hit you with it, you know, which is something that my control can't do, but my control is at three in the uh, OCG, while we still have one, so yeah, there's a difference, there's the errata. Uh, so it's not as great, because you can't, you know, take the really big things, but uh, I mean, it's still fine nonetheless, so just depends on what you do with your opponent's monster. Uh, if you give it back, then eh, it's a neg, but if you actually can, you know, do something with it, whether it be attacking, go for game, or exceed your synchro with it, then hey, you know. So, uh, you know, you know I, I really see maybe uh, OCG Monarchs throwing this in their deck. Alright, Future Fusion. Future Fusion got an errata, so uh, instead of going through the whole text, I'll just explain what the errata is. So, it says, during your next standby phase, after this card's activation, you reveal the Fusion Monster and send the materials. So it used to be, you just play Future Fusion, send the materials, and two standby phases later, you get your Fusion Monster. Instead, now it's, you play it, it does nothing. It's neg for right now. Then next standby phase, you reveal the send materials, and then the standby phase after that, then you get the Fusion Monster. So, you gotta wait that additional turn, which means that if your opponent pops that Future Fusion, which they can clearly see, you're gonna take, an, you're, you know, you're gonna take the neg, you're gonna pretty much lose it, you're not gonna get anything, you know? So... Uh, it's kind of like a slower Foolish Burial, you know, because you can easily just go ahead and reveal and then send eventually, but it, it's slow. It's obvious it's slow. It's right down the field. Your opponent can see it. They can cast out of the way, and you get nothing, you know? So, uh, I mean, but it's still Feature Fusion. If anything, you know, they should have arrived to say that it had to be, you know, thing actually listed on the card, because now you can still just, you know, reveal Feature Monster Extra and then just send the materials, which means that, you know, I can, for example, I can, you know, put in, like, Escriado and be like, okay, Future Fusion, oh, it lasts their turn? All right, well, I'm going to send a Hero Monster and send a Dark Monster, any Dark Monster, so, you know, uh, while the sending, waiting turn to sending is nice, it's still send anything and infuse for anything, so, yeah, I think they should have just said it for the listed Fusions, but, hey, it's OCG, so, I'm kind of, I'm still thinking that Future Fusion's a little too broken, you know, I'm not sure if uh, we'll pick that one up. Next is Imperial Order. Uh, this is probably is one of the more broken ones. Uh, it's a continuous trap still. Uh, you must pay 700 life points during either player's time of phase. So now I pay 700 during both our time of phase, so 1400 uh, per per both turns. And uh, it's mandatory. It is mandatory. I have to pay it. I have to pay some money. If I can't pay the 700, the card is destroyed. So it's not like I can kill myself with it. But the effect is still, but this card is in spell traps and negate all spell effects on the field. That's still broken. They're still broken, because spells are very powerful in Yu-Gi-Oh. Like, that, that was the one thing. Despite the whole, alright, I just won't pay the life points, turn it off, and then play spells. Uh, just the fact that you're negating spells is kind of a no-no, because spells are just so powerful. Um, you know, pretty much all spell cards, your field spells, your, your you know, your regular spell, quick spell, anything, it, it, it activates on the field, it's negated. Uh, pendulum scales, your pendulum scales effects are negated. You can still play them and pendulum summon, so it's not like anti spell. But the fact still remains that, that this card is still going to be stupid. Like, I can easily see in the OCG just people just blowing this card in and then flipping it up. Uh, you know, I'm going to play all the spells I want to play and then flip it up during your turn. You know, you know, fuck your one of Union Hanger, fuck your, uh, your uh, Zodiac Beast, the one that, uh, you know, summons the Zodiac Beast from your deck. You know, like spells are just so powerful in Yu Gi Oh! Uh, that. To turn them off, similar to like you know, uh, trap cards. It's, yeah, you know, so I still think Imperial is still broken. Uh, next, we have Goya Garden, who got Narada despite us having him at three, and he's not even played at all, rarely played. You know, uh, they decided to errata him to one Earth Tuner. So we'll probably be getting that errata where you know that you know that Goya Garden that you rarely make anyway. But now it's even harder to make because now it's one Earth Tuner. So you know, so now you need Earth Tuner is not generic anymore. So uh, you know, I think I think. Uh, uh, OCG was a little bit too cautious on this one. I don't know. I didn't think that was even necessary. You know, especially since precedents from us. You know, we do precedents from them, but they don't do precedents from us. It's kind of weird, so. Uh, next, we have Bryonic. Bryonic got a, an errata, so. Uh, the first thing you can read is you can only use the effect of Bryonic uh, Dragon Ice Bear once per turn. I mean, that's really what it needed. It really is. And uh, it got another errata, too. You can discard, uh, you can discard to the graveyard any number of cards and target that many cards your opponent controls. It's changed to your opponent. It used to be Bryonic could bounce anything. Now it has to be your opponent. So, um, what, do I think that Bryonic will still see play? Yeah, I really do. Because it's still kind of a blowout card. I can still just go into Bryonic, who's still generic, unlike Goyo Guardian. I can pitch, discard any number of cards and bounce any number of, of cards uh, as long as it's my opponent and then go for game, you know? Well, it's still technically an egg. Uh, so I'm gonna bring up, uh, you can't just keep on, you know, one, one per brio, get my resources back to that. It has to be all at the same time, one big bounce, and you can only use the effect once per turn. So, um, 
it, it, it's an errata, but I think even if it's a spirit, will still get played. He'll still definitely still get played. And then the last errata, we have Rescue Cat, who got the... You can only use the effect of Rescue Cat once per turn. But he's still kind of broken because, I mean, OCG has three, um, three Rescue Rabbits. We have one. I mean, you're still summoning from the deck like crazy. But it's interesting. We have one Rescue Rabbit. They have three Rescue Rabbit. But we have two Summoner Monks, but they only have one. So it just seems like summoning from the deck, as we can clearly see, is kind of, uh, you know, a no-no when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh. And, I mean, this card, you pretty much just brought another card back that summons from the deck. Uh, you know, you send this card to the graveyard after special summon two uh, level three or lower beast uh, monsters from your deck. They're fixing the gate to destroy the interface, but who cares? You can just exceed with them or synchro with them. But now in this day and age, exceed with them. And with summoning two level three beast uh, type monsters, so what am I summoning? Oh, yeah, Xaver and Volker. And then here we go again, you know? So it's like you hit Terror Top, but then you gave them kind of pseudo Terror Top. So while they got to run the deck a little bit more inconsistent, it doesn't mean that they can't just jimmy in the place still. So, uh, I mean, with Rescue Cat, they changed it to once per turn, but, I mean, the thing is that it sends itself to the graveyard, so you can just revive it next turn and then use its effect again. And then, again, unlike Res Rescue Rabbit, who banishes himself, and, you know, you gotta go out of your way, you gotta go into that levy to grab the Rescue Rabbit back, but this goes to the graveyard, and the graveyard's much more accessible than the Banish, you know, varying from deck to deck, so, I don't know, I'm not sure about this, I'm not sure about this, I mean, the, you know, we already know that, uh, Glads will be using it. We know that X Sabers, of course, will be using it. They're the ones who used it in the first place. And another deck that can use it that I never had the opportunity to is Madoche's. Madoche's, that, that's a one card. This is a one card tamer suit. Just think about it. Think about it. I can go summon Rescue Cat. Rescue Cat, chip yourself off. Summon Cat, summon Owl. Owl, banish the Rescue Cat. Summon uh, um, uh, Messenger Lotto. Get the search. XC into X Saber and Volker. Detach, summon another Messenger Lotto. XC. Tiramisu with its effect ready to go, you know, so this one card can get you your Tiramisu ready to go So, uh, you know, uh, if anything if you were gonna if you were uh, OCG if you were gonna bring back Rescue Cat You probably should have banned it Saber Invoker because you can gonna see the shenanigans and Madoche you can see the shenanigans and um, and uh, Zodiac Beast, you know, Xavier Invoker, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, we took the Terror Top here, but here you got Rescue Cat, and you still got Galaxy Worm, and you still got, you know, Tour Guide, so there's still ways to just bust out that one card, Xavier Invoker, and get your play started by summoning from the deck, so, yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so let's do these, uh, uh, lists for January the 1st, uh, like I said, we'll, maybe we'll do some precedents off of him, maybe we'll take something from that, uh, and so there's going to be an update video this upcoming Saturday. Uh, so look forward to that. I'll be telling you what I'm doing for the holidays and how things are going for the channel and all that. So I look forward to that. But anyway, um, it's glad, I'm glad to be back. I'm still long winded as ever. This video is like 22 fucking minutes, but I wanted to go into detail, talk about everything. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I said I will be back soon for my break. And uh, we can you know start getting more work and, and go into more detail about what's going to happen with the channel. So uh, it's been a while. I miss you guys. Hope you miss me too. Um, you know, click that like button, uh, click the subscribe button if you haven't already, and of course with the YouTube changes, uh, if you want to get notified when I upload things, click that bell, which is uh, how sporadic I'm uploading, you know, I haven't uploaded in over a month, it might be best to go ahead and click that bell and get a notification, just so you absolutely know when I'm uploading, because we're going to be doing some content for the month of December, so look forward to that, so anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys in the next video, thanks for watching.